Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add JavaFX support in your Eclipse IDE. Now by default Eclipse doesn't provide any JavaFX support for you. So you need to add JavaFX support in your Eclipse IDE. So there are two ways you can add JavaFX support in your Eclipse IDE. One is by adding a jar file to your Java project or other is to add a JavaFX plugin and then you will be able to directly create a JavaFX project. So we will see both ways. So first way is to add the JavaFX jar file. So go to your uh, Eclipse IDE and create a new Java project from here. And I'm going to name it as JavaFX demo for example and click next and click finish and then go to your project and here we are going to create a new class called hello world for example so right click on it and create a new class and name it as hello world okay now to add a java fx uh, support in this uh, class or in this project what you need to do is you need to right click your project first so right click your project and go, go to the properties and in here go to the build path so in here you on the right hand side you will be able to see this uh, category called build path and in this category go to the category called libraries okay now select the default library here and you can remove it for now and then you can add this library once again so add library and then just select jre system library okay click next and here by default i have uh, jdk 8 installed in my system which is the latest version of uh, jdk but JavaFX is available on JDK 7 also. So if you have JDK 7, it's okay, right? So click finish here. And now this is the important stage. So once again, click on add library here and then click user library and click next. And by default, I can see JavaFX here, but for the first time when you uh, come here, you will not be able to see this because I have created this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this option which says user libraries and I'm going to remove this for now. So I select it and remove it and I'm going to add it once again. So I will click new here and I will name it as Java FX. Okay, click OK and now you just select this and then click this option called add external jars okay so click this option add external jars and then you need to browse to your uh, java folder wherever it's installed most probably it will be installed in your uh, c directory then go to program files and then you will be able to see this java folder in this Java folder, you need to go to this JDK folder and in this JDK folder, go to the JRE folder. Okay. And inside this JRE folder, go to lib folder. And inside this lib folder, you will be able to see a jar file called JFX SWT.jar. Select this and click open. Okay, and now you can see this jar file is added to your user libraries. So just click OK and click finish and click OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, paste here the sample JavaFX code. So this is the sample JavaFX code. We are going to look this code in details in the next video. 
I will show you uh, how it works step by step. But right now we want to check whether this uh, JavaFX support is working in our Eclipse IDE or not. So this is the sample code for uh, JavaFX. I will save it. And now I'm going to compile and run it. So I'm going to just click this green button here and it will build this and it's running this JavaFX sample code. So now we know that this JavaFX support is added in our project. Now there is a second way to add a JavaFX support in your Eclipse IDE. And this option will enable you to create a JavaFX uh, project from this file option itself. So let's see how we can add this JavaFX support using this JavaFX plugin in Eclipse. So in your Eclipse IDE, go to help and then choose the option which says install new software. And in here, what you need to do is I will give you a link in the description and you need to copy this link from here and paste it in here where you see work with. Okay, so paste this link there and then just click add and you need to give a name to your repository. So give a name like this E in the bracket FX then outside the bracket clips. Okay, so give this name to your repository. Okay, so just copy the link from the description and then give this name to your repository and click OK. And it's going to search this JavaFX uh, plugin support. So just select all from here, right? And then click next. And in here, you just need to click once again next. And in here, you just need to uh, read this license terms and condition. And if you agree with these license terms and condition, just click I accept the terms and condition and then click finish. Now it's going to install this JavaFX plugin in your Eclipse IDE. So you need to wait for that. And once the installation is complete, Eclipse will ask you to restart this Eclipse IDE. So you just need to click yes and it's going to restart your Eclipse IDE. And once your Eclipse IDE has been started, you can go to files here and then you can go to new and you can create a new project here. And in the projects, you will be able to see this new option called JavaFX now after installing this plugin, right? And here you can select JavaFX project and click next. And in here you can give the name to your project, for example, JavaFX2 and click next and click finish. Now go to the project which you have recently created. And in here you will be able to see this JavaFX jar is already uh, installed here. And then you can go to the source folder here and inside the source folder, you will be able to see a package called application. And inside the package, you will be able to see two files. One is a Java file and other is a CSS file. So we will open this main.java file and we have already some default code here, right? So we can run this by just clicking this green button once again. And now you can see the sample JavaFX uh, window here, which is called stage, which is right now blank. Okay. So these are the two ways you can use to create a JavaFX project in Eclipse. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.